Remember, when you first install the Smart Online Order app, or if, you've, or if you have it installed for quite some time, periodically you want to make sure to double check your print settings because sometimes somebody may have changed it without you knowing. So just double check it. Open the Smart Online Order app, press print settings, and then just kind of go through this so you can have the ideal print settings so it prints all, all the time. Um, without interfering your business or without you having to manually print it. Because there's some things that are involved in your Clover auto printing the online orders. And you have to have a good internet connection. You have to make sure you have paper inside your Clover. So these things are required for your online orders to print. Uh, so here's how to do the ideal print settings. First, when you open it, it'll say choose device as default printer. Click on it. You can choose one or two. When it says default printer, meaning the master device, because the master device is what sends the orders to the kitchen in the back, is what sends the orders to the printer up front. So you wanna choose a master device. I recommend choosing only one, but if you need to, and if you must have two Clovers printing online orders, you can, then you can choose two. But what, that, what that's going to cause is you're going you're gonna to waste paper because you're printing multiple times at two different stations. So you want to go ahead and choose one device. Okay, once you choose one device, press OK. And the way to tell which device you're choosing is by the name. It says this device or it'll say Station Pro. I have two Clover devices. I have this device and I have another Clover Station, which is called the Clover Station Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this device. Once you choose this device, just go down the list one by one, and it's gonna ask you, auto print the customer receipt. When you click yes, it's gonna ask you, what is the customer receipt printer, or what is the payment receipt printer? Press this button and choose your payment receipt printer. Keep in mind that your payment receipt printer is not your kitchen printer, it's your Clover Station printer. This is your payment receipt printer. It prints up front. So choose station, okay? If you see two stations, choose the second one. And then once you do that, go to the next step. Next step is asking you, Kitchen Star Labels Printing. This is where most merchants get confused or they don't know what to do. It's very simple. All it's saying is that if you have more than one kitchen printer, choose this box. If you have one kitchen printer, do not select this box because kitchen labels printing is based on labels. Labels is hot foods, cold foods, sandwich printer, pizza printer. When you check this box, the Smart Online Order app, Smart Online Order app will look into incoming online orders and if it's a pizza, it will send it to the pizza printer. If it's a salad, it will sell, it'll send it to the salad printer. If it's a drink, it will send it to the beverages printer. So. That's what kitchen labels printing means. But if you don't have more than one kitchen printer, do not check this box because that means you have one kitchen printer or one order receipt printer. Then choose the second box below it, which is called order receipt printer. This one is where you manually choose your order receipt printer. You'll see a few options. Typically it's station or star. So you have to choose between those two. If you see some other name, that means you have renamed it. So choose the one that's the order receipt printer. Typically, it's in the back, but if you don't have one in the back, then it's this is probably your order receipt printer because this, this printer right here can act as both a order receipt printer and a payment receipt printer. So choose it from the dropdown. Okay, make sure not to skip these steps. And then auto print bill receipt, that is completely optional to you that will print another receipt when the online order is made. I don't think you will need it, but if you do, check the box. If you don't need it, just, just skip that part. Now go down to the next screen, okay? There's many options here. And one thing, the most, one of the other important options is something that we added to help merchants because typically they can run out of paper, the internet is not very good, so we try to minimize or eliminate online orders not printing. So we have this feature which you can enable right now. It's called when printing fails. It's saying to you, if the printing fails, online order comes through and there's nothing happening, 
what should happen. It gives you three options. It says do nothing, meaning it failed, just don't do anything. Next option is try to print again after two minutes. That is the ideal selection if in case you get a lot of online orders not printing or if it fails once in a while, choose option two. So if I have no paper here, online order comes through, it fails, it will try again after two minutes. If an online order is placed at 2.05 p.m. and your internet fails at 2.05 p.m., it will try again after two minutes in case your internet comes back on at 2.07. So it's not 100% foolproof, but it will help reduce any or most errors of online orders not printing. So take advantage of the try to print again after two minutes so you can have the online orders try again. So that's how you set up your Clover station to auto print the orders and how to troubleshoot it. So if your online order suddenly stops printing once, once in a while or a few days later, check to make sure that somebody did not change the settings. If you feel like somebody's changing the settings, press the three dots on the far right on the Smart Online Order app, it's called Permissions. Press Permissions and maybe your employee may be pressing it without knowing it. You can prevent the employee from accessing your print settings on your Smart Online Order app or you can prevent your manager to access it. Again, these are some tools that were added for you to ensure the online orders continuously print and brings you more and more customers to your business.